Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my best body care products of 2021. In 2021, I experimented so much with body care. I tried out so many different products, new launches, I collaborated with brands for body care, I got a lot of PR, I purchased a lot of products, and my goodness, I have so many favorites. Now in this video, 98, 99% of the products are my favorites directly from last year, but some of them, very few of them, are my favorites from 2019, 2020. Of course, those are still my favorites, but I wanna give you guys a lot of other products like new launches that genuinely work that's the whole idea right like every year you talk about new launches that work for you or just some favorites that stuck with you from the previous years i have so many products right here and i can't wait to talk about these but before we get into the video let me quickly introduce myself in case you're new here hi my name is preeti i'm india's first cruelty free beauty blogger i talk about all things cruelty free which means products that are not tested on animals i also talk about veganism sustainability shout out to local brands and a whole lot of other things now if this is the kind of content you enjoy then please consider subscribing to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video now the first category is one of my all-time favorite categories and this is body oils i am obsessed with body oils i've tried so many you guys you already know my favorites from last year but i have just four products here that genuinely stood out for me now the first one is the Hope Body Oil from a brand called Irenic or Irenic. I really don't know how to say it and I'm sorry if I'm like ruining the name, but this oil is so good, you guys. It sinks in so beautifully into the skin. The fragrance is very, very luxurious and it's a very gentle, no fuss body oil. It's got a really cool combination of jojoba oil, almond oil, rose zip, orange peel, sandalwood, so many other oils. And the combination of these oils is really good because it leaves your skin feeling so soft. If they amp up this packaging and put some bougie glass packaging obviously their cost will go high but this can easily go for a higher price because this is really good stuff now this next body oil i'm pretty sure you guys have heard me speak so much about this is the vanilla vibes body oil from plum absolutely love it what a stunning combination of ingredients it is so lightweight and it smells really strong literally you're gonna smell like a walking cupcake and i love it I love anything vanilla. This is my second bottle. The first one I was gifted, the second one I purchased. Now, the only problem that I have with this is that it doesn't come with an outer packaging. So you'll notice all of the dust and my cat's fur just sticking on this. It's got almond oil, carrot seed oil, it's got Brazil nut oil, olive oil, a bunch of other oils as well. I absolutely love it, man. This is such good stuff. Now this next one is a luxury product, so obviously it's going to be on a more higher end with the pricing. This is from Espa, it's the Optimal Body Tri Serum. Very, very lightweight, you guys. This is one of the best serums that I've ever used on my skin. It does have an oily texture, but the way they formulated this, it's so lightweight, it literally sinks into the skin and it doesn't even feel like oil. This actually comes with a spray nozzle super convenient to apply some of the key ingredients are omega oils 369 it's got turmeric it's also got balloon wine and a bunch of other ingredients that just calm your skin reduce inflammation this is such a good serum it's worth every single penny i have been so stingy with the way i use it but then again a little goes a long way just because it's a serum it sinks in really well into the skin so you feel like you need more but you really don't the last body oil is a juicy chemistry blood orange oil i haven't repurchased it it's an empty i'm gonna leave a photo right here this is such good stuff it's a breath of fresh air it is so refreshing the fragrance picks me up aromatherapy you guys i've spoken about this already before that fragrance just instantly lifts me up if i'm feeling a little down i just use some oil applied on my shoulders i apply it on my chest i apply it on my hands and instantly my mood is calmer I love that oil. It's also really good for fading away tan, fading away any marks from body acne. The only problem is that the quantity is really less for the price that you pay. It doesn't have the right dispenser as well. That's the only problem I have with it. But overall, it's some good stuff. The next category is hand creams. I am obsessed with hand creams. Everybody knows that. I make a huge deal about them, mainly because I wash my hands a lot. I am a hygiene freak. I dust my house the whole day. I'm always cleaning. I love keeping things spick and span mainly because I have dust allergies and also I'm super spiritual so I can't really work in a dusty environment. I need everything to be clean so I'm constantly washing my hands way before the pandemic even started and that's why I invest in good hand creams. Now the first one is the Hawaiian Rumba Cream. This is so good. This one's from Plum. I purchased it twice already. Very good stuff. Very hydrating. It is non-greasy. It is very thick, yet it doesn't feel oily. The fragrance is not too strong. Hawaiian Rumba is the least fragrant range of plum and it's honestly one of my favorites. 
I absolutely love this. I am done with this. This is my second purchase. It's got niacinamide, it's got Brazil nut oil, it's got shea butter and a bunch of other ingredients. Very good stuff. I strongly recommend it. The next one is from True Frog and this is what it looks like. I absolutely love this, you guys. Very, very underrated. This is very easy to dispense as well. You got to press this like so. The only problem is that this is a little chunky, so it's not the most convenient to travel with in your handbag. The key ingredients I mentioned on the packaging is shea butter and olive leaf extract, of course, with a bunch of other ingredients. The fragrance is super gentle, not over the top at all. Both of these have added fragrances, by the way, but none of these are strong. They fade away within 15, 20 minutes and both of the formulas are very very nice they don't feel greasy they don't feel very thick absolutely love them the third and final hand cream is a super handy hand cream from one this is a fresh tube you guys I have lost count of the number of times I bought this this doesn't have any added fragrances it is so nice it's rich in ceramides it's perfect for all weathers all skin types even if you have super super dry hands I've also gifted this to my mom because she doesn't like a lot of fragrances in her products this is very good stuff it's also got a superb ingredient list it's got shea butter it's got bakuchiol it's got hyaluronic acid along with ceramides making it the perfect cream another brownie point for all of these hand creams is that they're vegan you guys they are vegan friendly Next category is body scrubs. I don't have a lot of favorites that I experimented with last year, but I just stuck with the ones that really worked for me and I kept repurchasing them. The first one is from Plum again, and this is the Driving Me Cherry Gel Body Scrub. Plum really owned the body care game in 2021, you guys. Last year, the launches that they've come up with were so, so impressive. This is a gel-based scrub. It's got cellulose beads, which is perfect for even the most gentle areas like your inner arms, inner thighs, your chest, and even on your legs and thighs where you have thicker skin. What I love about this is when you use this on your body and you've exfoliated your skin really well, you add some water and this emulsifies. It's like this milky texture absolutely love this this not only scrubs your body but it also hydrates it and adds a very nice polishing kind of a feel to your skin the fragrance of this is super fruity it makes everything smell so nice your shower is going to smell really nice your bathroom is going to smell really nice you're going to smell really nice but if you're allergic to strong fragrances and if you have very sensitive body skin then maybe you might want to skip this now this next one is my favorite for almost three years now and this is something i constantly keep repurchasing this is the hazelnut chocolate and coffee coffee scrub from Juicy Chemistry. This is my third or fourth purchase. I don't even remember. I have literally lost count. This is so good. It smells heavenly. Look at that texture, you guys. This is brand new. I just restocked this in December end. It's super gentle. It gives you a very, very good scrub, okay? Even on the most thickest skin like your thigh, your legs and everything. But it's super gentle even for other body parts like your maybe this neckline or on your chest, on your inner arms, your stomach area. This smells so yummy. First of all, it literally smells like dessert. It's such a fun experience. It lifts your spirits up. Aromatherapy plays such a huge role in how you feel throughout the day also. It's also got sweet orange oil, jojoba oil, so it really leaves your skin feeling super soft. You can skip your moisturizer after this, but if you have super dry skin, then don't do that. But I usually skip my moisturizer after this because it leaves my skin very, very moisturized. The last two body scrubs are from the Wanderlust collection of Nika. This was gifted to me by the brand and I bought this one. This is my second tube. I absolutely love it. This is one of the best body scrubs if you have very sensitive skin. If you don't want a lot of aggressive scrubbing, you just want a body polisher of sorts, then this is the one you need to buy. Fragrance notes are so good of the Wanderlust collection. This is one of my favorites. It literally smells like dessert. Very good if you don't want a very strong smelling body polisher or scrub. This has a very strong scent. It's uh, in normal terms, people call it unisex, but I don't think you can really put a gender on fragrance. I think that's so silly. But this is a very strong fragrance. I love it so much. I have a shower gel from this. I have a body scrub. I love it. I also have a deodorant from this, which I'll talk about later. Pretty good stuff, man. And these are very, very gentle. They leave your skin feeling very shiny and nice. Now, just like the hand creams, these body scrubs are not just cruelty free. They are also vegan friendly. All right, let's talk about deodorants. Now, I have a bunch of deodorants that I constantly keep repurchasing, mainly because we don't have a lot of cruelty-free deodorants in the Indian market, which is quite sad. Majority of the Indian markets are filled with Dove, Nivea, all of these brands test on animals, so it's very difficult to find something that is cruelty-free, as well as controls body odor, perspiration, and smells really good. 
The first one is the Sicilian Sweet Pea. This is from the Wanderlust collection of Nika. I absolutely love this fragrance because it is so floral, you guys. It literally feels like you're walking through a bed of flowers. You're walking through gardens. It smells so nice. It controls perspiration ever so slightly. It reduces body odor really well. And the fragrance is very, very long lasting. They were not kidding about the 48 hour thing, you guys. The fragrance of this literally lasts all day till the next shower. Now in the Wanderlust deodorants, I also love the Mediterranean Sea Salt. I'm going to leave a photo right here. I love that entire range. I love that fragrance. It is very, very strong. This is more floral. That has a more nice, stronger scent to it. It's just so good. That is more like a nighttime deodorant and this is like a daytime deodorant. The next two are from Gosh. Now, Gosh is a brand that I've been using since forever, since I was 13, 12, 14, I don't even remember. From back home, my mom always gets these. Whenever someone's traveling from Bahrain, I always ask them to get these because you don't find these in India. This is one of my all-time favorite ones. And I recently tried this out. My mom sent me a care package and this is pretty good stuff. The last deodorant is from Plum and this is the Hawaiian Roomba one. Oh my god, this is so good. As compared to the Vanilla Vibes one, I prefer this mainly because the Vanilla Vibes one, over time when it mixes with the smell of your sweat, it smells really bad. Essential oils, when they mix with sweat, honestly, they smell just so horrible. I don't know why a lot of people don't talk about that. So this is how it looks. You need to use a spatula which is provided by the brand and you scoop it all out and you apply it on your skin. This is how it looks. A little goes a long way. Now, these days, I use this only at home and I apply the other deodorants when I step out, mainly because this doesn't give me a very, very strong hold with smell, with body odor. It, of course, controls perspiration really well, but with body odor, it doesn't really do a very good job, especially when you have a very long day and you're not wearing cotton clothing, synthetic clothing can really stink it all up. So this doesn't do the job that time for me, but overall, it's really good stuff. Next category is body lotions. I have only two body lotions here, mainly because I love body butters. I go all out with body butters and also because I use a lot of body oils, so I don't use a lot of body lotions. Now, the first one is from Nourish Mantra. You guys have heard me speak so much about this. I spoke about this in my Vanity Wagon haul video. This is the Mystic Indian Rose Body Lotion. I love the packaging, you guys. Even the outer packaging is so nice. Everything about this screams very indie luxury. I just love the packaging. This lotion smells so good. It smells very Indian royal. I love it. It's very hydrating. It's non-sticky. A few of you guys bought this and you told me how much you loved it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. This is a very good body lotion. If you're looking for something that works in all weather conditions, even in monsoons and sticky summers, then this is the one. It doesn't feel greasy on the skin at all. It smells really nice. The fragrance lasts all day on your skin and it is so, so moisturizing. Oh my God, I absolutely love it. The next one is from the Wanderlust range of Nikon. This is the Californian Almond Milk. This is so good. The brand sent me a huge PR package of the entire range. So I literally distributed products from that range. I gave my mom and dad their body lotion. It's such a relaxing fragrance. It smells so nice. It literally smells like sweet almonds and a very nice coconutty milky kind of a fragrance. I absolutely love it. The body lotion is a nice balance of oils and moisture, but this one is slightly heavy on the body oil bit, mainly because this is a body milk and it's very, very nourishing. Let's talk about body salves, you guys. Body salves or body balms, as we call it, are very, very thick, oily, greasy creams that just get the job done. They are not very lightweight, so obviously you will have to be a little patient with them sinking into your skin. But if you have super dry skin, especially if you want to spot treat, like very dry areas on your butt or around your knees, on your elbows, then these are the products that you need to try. The first one is a Deep Nourish Calendula and Shea Butter Balm from Rass Luxury Oils. I absolutely love this. This smells so good. It is so relaxing. The aroma is, first of all, everything. The ingredient list is so good. I always use this to spot treat my elbows, my knees, my ankles, and especially on my legs, you know, after you've shaved a lot, your skin can get really rough. So I like to use this. In the dry weather, this was my savior. You can obviously use this on your face if you have super dry skin. If you want to spot treat, if you have a very dry patch and you want to spot treat, then you can definitely use this. This has a very thick balm like texture. So they give you this spatula to scoop out some product, a pea sized amount, heat it between your fingers and your palms, and then just apply it. 
The next one is the Plant Remedy Skin Salve from YBP. Again, I keep all my products in the packaging, even my rafts one. Every single product is in the outer packaging because when it's oily, I just don't want it attracting any dust. I love the packaging so much, you guys. This comes with its very own spatula. Again, it's a very thick balm. I use this on my chest, I use this on my neck, on my hands, anywhere on my body where I have super dry skin and this gets the job done. It is so moisturizing, so hydrating. Now, this time around, the winters in Bombay were surprised surprisingly really cold and my skin got super dry no amount of ceramides were working no amount of hyaluronic acid or i don't know what was going on so what i did was i used the ybp salve all over my face and you guys it didn't break me out in fact it calmed all the inflammation this is going to be perfect if you live in dry weather if you probably live in air conditioning all day also doesn't feel greasy on the skin at all the next one is from irenic irenic again i keep messing up the name but this is the soulful salve and i absolutely love this I have finished so much of this product. I haven't used this one on the face mainly because I find this very rich in fragrance. No added fragrances but it's a bit too fragrant and it could possibly trouble my skin. So what I do is I apply this on my elbows, on my knees, on my legs, on my butt, on my thighs and oh my god this does such a good job. The little goes a long way. You don't need a lot of product because when this melts in your palms you just apply it and it sinks in beautifully into the skin. Let's quickly talk about hand washes. So the only hand wash brand that I am obsessed with is the Fiamma Duels hand wash. First of all, look at the size of this big guy. This will last you a good six, seven months. This fragrance, the grapefruit and bergamot one is so good. It is so refreshing. It's so happy. You just have such a good time washing your hands. The other one that I absolutely love is the purple one. I think it's called Calm, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to leave a photo right here so good you guys it is such a good fragrance a lot of hand washes really don't remove all that grime and oil from your skin so you feel a little icky after wash but this doesn't do it so this is the only brand in focus for hand washes for me since 2021 since we're already on the topic of washing let's talk about body washes now this body wash this was gifted to me by the brand this smells so good man it is such a fresh happy fragrance it just lifts you up instantly it makes me so happy every time i use it it doesn't rip my skin off moisture it is very very gentle smells really good lathers up really well now fiamma duels is a cruelty free indian brand they don't sell in mainland china and in india animal testing is banned so this is a cruelty free brand plum really stole the show for me this is a shower gel the tripping mimosas one again a very uplifting fragrance it just makes you feel so happy it's perfect for a day when you're feeling low i love it for my morning routines definitely not something i would use in my night routines now those were shower gels i'm going to talk about two shower creams both of these are from plum i am obsessed this is the coffee wakeachino this is vanilla vibes both of them were purchased by me i am obsessed with how well these perform on my skin they don't rip my skin off moisture shower creams are perfect for winters now the good part about shower creams is that they are very very moisturizing so you can use them with your palms and your fingers you can use them even with a loofah both of these are great for a pm routine when you just want to calm down you don't want to use too many fresh and happy fragrances these are very gentle calming stress relieving fragrances let's talk about my favorite body yogurts of 2021 now body yogurts are really nice for all skin types but if you have super dry skin they might not do it for you the texture of body yogurt is slightly thicker than a body custard or body lotion or body milk but not as greasy or oily as a body butter or a salve so it's somewhere in between you won't feel that greasiness that you probably get with a salve or a body cream you know those thicker products the first one is from body shop the british rose body yogurt i finally tried it out and this is so good i'm not a fan of the shower gel because the fragrance doesn't stay on the skin it was a huge fail not a fan of the hand cream either mainly because it's just so gentle it's very fragrant but it doesn't do much for my hands so not the one for me but the body yogurt is so good this is also a vegan product this is very very long lasting in terms of hydration and fragrance the fragrance of this is not your usual rose water fragrance it's actually very luxurious the next body yogurt is from the wanderlust californian almond milk i'm obsessed with this range and this particular fragrance you guys i am obsessed very good stuff very long lasting the smell is so nice literally like dessert it doesn't feel very greasy on the skin hydrates the skin really well and i'm super impressed with the quantity this big guy right here is 250 ml it's literally half the price of the body shop one the body shop one is 200 ml this will last you a very long time now the last one is from body gold this is the very delicious body yogurt i've cracked the cap a bit 
This is so good. It literally smells like berries. It's super rich in blackberry, strawberry and raspberry extracts along with a bunch of other ingredients. It is so lightweight, non-greasy, perfect for literally all weathers. The next category is my favorite body butters. Now, I am obsessed with body butters. You all already know that. I tried out so many different body butters and I really wanted to shorten the list. So these are a few that really stuck with me. Now, this first body butter was mentioned in my best of 2020 body care as well. This is my third empty. The first one was sent to me by the brand. I bought one, I finished it, and I bought it again. This is from Pure by Priyanka. This is a little pricey. It's only 100 grams. You pay 800 rupees almost. You can obviously use my discount code to get a discount. But I feel that the quantity should be slightly more. 100 grams is really less because you run out of the product really, really fast. The fragrance of this is very unique, you guys. I have tried so many different body fragrances fragrances over the years, so many different body butters, but this fragrance is very different. It is so unique, it is so luxurious, and it's just so calming. It's not over the top. I absolutely love it. The formulation is top-notch as well. The ingredient list is superb, very hydrating, very moisturizing, doesn't feel oily at all. The next one is from the Wanderlust Californian Almond Milk range. I'm obsessed with this range. The body butter from this is so good. It is so thick, it's so moisturizing, it's non-greasy man love how fast absorbing this is it smells so good the fragrance lasts all day the nourishment lasts all day if you have super dry skin you can use it if you live in dry weather you can use it and even if you live in tropical weather conditions you can use it because it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't feel oily at all the next product is from skin pantry i'm gonna leave a photo right here it's a very thick whipped mousse kind of a texture it's again very expensive for the quantity but it works really well i haven't repurchased it it was gifted to me by the brand if you want to invest in something that is small batch if you have the budget then definitely get it because the texture is super unique super super unique it literally melts into your skin it feels like you're applying whipped body mousse it is just so hydrating so moisturizing it literally smells like cupcake frosting and i love it the last body butter is from juicy chemistry the fig vanilla and blood orange one this is so good you guys it is so thick it smells amazing first of all this is a brand new product that i bought in december and this is what it looks like a little goes a long way it's a cross between a body butter and a salve so it's not really a nice fluffy body butter that being said it doesn't feel greasy on my skin it doesn't feel very heavy it smells so good i love the blood orange fragrance man it is so uplifting it instantly wakes you up and makes you feel happy it just transforms my mood the fragrance reminds me of carrot cake frosting because the carrot cake frosting has a hint of orange with vanilla i don't know it just smells so yummy this is really good man it really improves the overall skin texture it helps to fade away the pigmentation and tan ever so slightly the last and final category is body mists and perfumes these are all cruelty free this is a question that i get in my dms very very often can you please recommend cruelty free perfumes and mists so here we go let's first talk about body mists and then we move into perfumes the first two are from body shop you have heard me speak about this for so long ever since i started my blog because i've been using these for almost a decade or more now both of these are very long lasting the shea butter one is a very nice bougie kind of a fragrance it doesn't smell like any particular coconut or any particular floral scent it just smells really nice and classy and this one literally smells like coconut coconut milk it smells so good both of these are my favorites now these last on the skin for approximately four to five hours on the clothes for about two three hours and then you have to miss them again obviously because these are body mists and they're not perfumes they're not oil based so they won't last very long the next two body mists are from plum this was gifted to me by the brand and i bought this mini this is hawaiian rumba and this is trippin mimosas trippin mimosas one is a very strong citrusy fragrance if this is not for you then skip it altogether i'm not the biggest fan of citrusy fragrances honestly because a lot of them just smell like i don't know room fresheners <laughs> really most of them smell like room fresheners but this smells really nice Again, it's very strong, very, very strong. So unless I'm going for brunch or if I'm at the beach, then I'm not going to use this because it's just very, very strong. It's a very fresh fragrance, very daytime fragrance, definitely not for nighttime. Now, this one, on the other hand, the Hawaiian Rumba one, I am so impressed with this. It is so long lasting. It is so gentle. It doesn't give me a headache and it's easily for AM as well as PM. It's not going to be too overwhelming for a PM routine, you know, when you go out and you want some nice body mist. I also bought the Vanilla Vibes one. I bought both of these on a sale, but 
The other one, the Vanilla Vibes one, literally smells like alcohol. Type that I would use to disinfect my vanity and my makeup products. Very disappointing. Let's talk about perfumes. Now, I didn't get the chance to try out the Plum perfumes. I really wanted to, but I didn't get the chance to. So these two perfumes are the ones that I keep repurchasing because they honestly smell so good. First one is the Body Shop Vanilla Perfume. This little guy goes a long way. I have lost count of the number of times I've bought this. It is super handy, very, very strong. Fragrance lasts all day. You don't have to keep spraying this all over your body. Lil goes a long way. I love vanilla. I love smelling like a cupcake. I love sweet fragrances and this is so good. It's not over the top vanilla. It is perfectly formulated. It doesn't smell like a lot of alcohol. It smells really nice. This is something that I keep repurchasing for over a decade now. One of my favorite ones, constant in my vanity. I don't know why I didn't mention perfumes in my best of 2020, but in the best of 2021, I have you all covered. The last perfume is from Engage Le Mans. This is the Sun Kissed variant. The packaging is beautiful. The fragrance is literally like a French romance. The alcohol content is not too much, so it doesn't smell like literally alcohol in perfume bottle. It smells so good, man. So this was gifted to me by the Cosmopolitan panel team when I was nominated for the Cosmopolitan Awards last year, which I then went ahead to win, which I'm so proud of. But this is something that was sent to me by them. I finished the first bottle and then I bought this again because it's super budget friendly. This is easily one of the best perfumes to come out from an Indian brand in the Indian market. And those are all the products, you guys. Those are all of my favorite body care products of 2021. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up so that I know you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any recommendations for me to try out for body care in 2022 this year, leave them in the comments and I'll surely check them out. Now, the only segment that's left in the best of 2021 series is the skincare, which is going to come up after this video. It's going to be in two parts, you guys, because the skincare videos are generally longer, just like the best of 2020. All right, I'm going to take your leave now. But before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my previous videos right here. I will catch you all in the next video. So then take care of yourself and your body. Bye.